So this specific video may or may not ever get released just because the thing I'm about to talk about is still very much in process. But I find myself this week at South by Southwest Film Festival here in Austin, Texas, which is one of my favorite times of year. I love this festival, so much creativity, so much energy, so much passion, uh, just a desire to share that with the audience, with the filmmakers, it's great, love it. If you're in the area, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, but the thing, the very cool thing that is still in process is I watched a movie uh, called The Art of Self-Defense, and in it, there was an actor who had a pretty small cameo in it, a couple of lines, um, but I loved his look, I loved the vibe that he gave out, and his name was Jason Berkey. Um, of course, I didn't know that when I saw him in the film, I just noted, hey, he's got a good look, that maybe would actually be quite perfect for the lead character of Sam Watson in our film. Just tucked that away in the back of my head, got out of the film, looked him up by IMDb, saw that he had been in a bunch of other smaller uh, independent films, as well as a bunch of other television shows, and um, I just thought, man, this guy really does have the vibe that I think is just perfect for Sam Watson, and you know what? I'm just going to see if I can't get a hold of him. Um, and this is definitely not something that will always work with all actors, uh, because every single actor is at a different place in their career. Uh, also, every single actor, like all humans, have different dispositions, one to the other, uh, and some of them might respond better to being um, kind of messaged directly than others. Uh, but nonetheless, just based upon kind of what I was seeing on Jason's website uh, and the kind of the personality that he was putting out uh, in that space, uh, my producer and I decided, you know what, actually, maybe the best route to go with this specific actor is just to message him directly um, and try and communicate some of our personality in a way that hopefully he'll respond to. Uh, fortunately, um, I was also able to send him a link to the Kickstarter campaign video, uh, which kind of showcases some of the visual flair that we're wanting to put in our film, uh, as well as kind of a, a little nice concise articulation of what the project is about and why it's important to me as a writer and director. Um, so I was able to send that along with a, a brief little message of who I was and, and what I was interested in uh, seeing from him. And lo and behold, eight hours after I sent that email to him, he got back to me and the next day we actually talked on the phone. Um, and in that conversation, I basically just tried to communicate as simply as I could. This is who I am, this is what I'm about. Uh, this is what this project is about, and this is why this project is important to me. And it was, you know, I mean, <laughs> in a lot of ways, it's a bit like a first date. You're kind of wanting to impress that person, um, and hopefully doing so in as honest of a way as possible, so that if the relationship continues, you don't have to pull back the mask at one point and be like, actually, <laughs> I'm not as you know cool as you thought I was, and uh, you know, I actually haven't made all those projects that I said I made. Uh, you obviously want to be very, very truthful, um, but also you want to put forward your best foot. So after that conversation and kind of just further articulating what the project was about, again, why I was passionate about it, uh, I just, you know, I basically came out and said like, hey, I'd love to send you the script if you're still interested. Um, and at that point, he gave uh, an affirmative response. And so I quickly <laughs> uh, left that phone call, opened up the screenplay, made sure it was all in, a, in you know, as presentable a place as it could be, and sent that off to him. So right now, I'm basically waiting for him to read that screenplay, and uh, Lord willing, uh, he will like it, um, or at least like the, the foundation that it lays, and maybe he has some of his own ideas of, of things that he can bring to the part, <clears throat> you know, different lines that can be adjusted to, to sound more natural, whatever it might be. Um, but hopefully it wins him over enough to, to move forward. Um, and this will be obviously a continuing story. Um, I, I, obviously, if he says yes, there will be a lot more to do when it comes to contracts and it comes to figuring out schedules and payment and all that kind of stuff and we'll definitely be talking about that. Uh, but the, the moral of the story is if you see something in a film, the cinematography, the acting, the production design, and it genuinely resonates with you, don't let that go because that's a great place to start when connecting with anyone in the industry. Um, because it's not just, I want to use you. Um, it's, I appreciate what you've done, and I want to collaborate with you because I like your voice, I like what I've seen you do, and I think you and I could actually do great things together. So, we'll see what happens.